folks. We cast up the car. Just about ready to go. Open road, baby! Highway! Open road! All right, so we went south, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Basically, we could write a book about what sneakers is. But in a nutshell, it goes like this. Spring break 2002. We gassed up the car and hit the highway with only our backpacks, skateboards, cameras, and guitar. We had to stop in Providence at the Holiday Inn to steal some electricity and some food. Fortunately, they were very accommodating. After we were fully charged, we picked up some food and hurried on. We got some banana, man. <laughs> Next, we took a pit stop in Connecticut to stretch our legs and flex our skateboarding skills. Then, as the sun began to set, we headed out for New York City. We arrived in Manhattan after dark and headed to Times Square. Once we parked the car, we got on our skateboard and started to ride. Once we reached Times Square, we ran into some pretty interesting things. We needed money, so we casually became a street band with a harmonica, a guitar, and a gas can for a drum. Showtime! Hit it! Hit it, baby! Three, four, sneakers! Here, we ran into Showtime, the most talented homeless man ever. Not those people! After hours of entertaining the people of Times Square, we headed to a rest stop right outside the city to sleep. When we woke up, we met Little Raindrop, whose flat tire we changed. Feeling grateful, Little Raindrop gave us some directions to what is called the Collective Unconscious, somewhere in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. But to get there, we had to travel. We wandered around the Lower East Side, ate, and skated the area. We arrived at the Collective Unconscious, and they gave us a tour. Needless to say, this place is crazy. After the Collective Unconscious, we decided to take a trip down to what was the World Trade Center. After taking it all in, we headed back up to Times Square on the subway to play some more music. This is it, baby. While rocking Times Square, we ran into these two girls that were so gracious enough to take us into their Hilton Hotel room and put us up for the night. When we were revitalized, we took a tour of the Lily in Lower Manhattan. Then we took a quick skate around Greenwich Village before ending the night at the Collective Unconscious for an eclectic open mic experience. We had never seen anything like what we saw there that night. After having seen and done so much, we knew it was time to head back. We grabbed a bite to eat and started our journey home. I am trying to tell you something about my life. Though we didn't stay for long, we learned a lot about our lives and ourselves. But most of all, we learned the philosophy of sneakers. Just let life happen. All you really have to do is just point the car and go. Free.